Coventry United TV highlights are proudly sponsored by Coventry Motorcycles and Scooters, a family-run business providing an extensive range of new and used scooters plus 125cc motorcycles, also stocking a wide selection of helmets, protective clothing and accessories. For more information, contact Roy on 02476 440011, email Roy at coventrymotorcycles.co.uk or head on down to their new location at 288 Walsgrave Road, Coventry, CV2. 4BL. Well, here it is. The FA Vars throws up some spectacular matches, and this is one of them. An old rivalry reignited both sides up for this one. Progression in the FA Vars at stake. Wembley beckons. Who will take another step towards the arch? It's the FA Vars. It's Bromsgrove Sporting versus Coventry United, and it's live on Coventry United TV with Liam Cook. This one should be a cracker. Quainer upfield. Now to the feet of Brain. Brain across the face of goal. And a shot at goal. Pound away the near post by Rich Morris. Pick it, giving it a good old crack. One of the most powerful limit you'll ever see. But Rich Morris did his job and palmed it away at the near post. Some dangerous at the far post. And it's actually Twizzles the near post and it was nearly a back heel into the net. If it wasn't for some great reflexes from Rich Morris. It would have been an opening goal for Bromsgrove Sporting. I believe that was Sean Brain who evaded his mark and tried to flick it behind him into the net. But Morris had to have his wits about him to stop that one. Here's Sam Willis. Looking for the number 10 Brain on the right hand side. Whipped in. And what an effort just wide! Jason Cowley as graceful as an eagle in the air and a remarkable acrobatic effort just a whisker away from finding the top corner boy oh boy we've seen some special goals this season that was an inch away from being one of them down to a great control by Burton Rich Morris, Morris had to get a hand to it. And Bronsgo were looking ever more dangerous. On oh, plenty of space. On the right hand side for Bronsgo Sporting's picket across the face of goal. Let's it go! What a save by Morris! And the rebound by Guy Cowley! It had to be him, didn't it? Jason Cowley! Able to pull away! Have a deserved lead on half an hour. The cross from Pickett on the right hand side, I believe it was Sean Brain who had the initial stab at goal. It was a brilliant point blank save from Morris. You can't expect him to hold it from there. And when you have a striker as clinical as Jason Cowley, there's only ever one result going to happen, and Cowley. From close range, yeah, able to find the net. And you can't say Bronze Grove haven't deserved it. They've been the better team, they've created the better chances. And now it's time for United to dig deep and come back from this. We just scored the Victoria ground of the half an hour. Bronze Grove Sporting 1, Coventry United 0. Bronze Grove looking to double their advantage and just have some breathing room. And it's uh, deflected. And Morris has to. Palm it over his goal as it looked to dip under the crossbar. He's asking for some more options now. He's, there's not a lot of players with any sort of space. And a definite push in the back on Mitch Pig. Referee doesn't want to know. And that's play on. Jack James with the United's first meaningful shot of the game. It was a decent effort. It rolled wide this near post. But I believe that I'm right in saying that's the first ever on goal we've seen from Coventry United in the entirety of this match. Read, of course, the score of United's only goal on Wednesday night in the League Cup exit to Quorn towards the far post. Nodding on and a good catch from Francis. Chris Cox gets a decent enough contact on the header at the far post. But Francis is able to get both clubs to it and keep it in his possession. Down like to Quainer. 
Can you get the cross in? Up line. Here's Bun. Whips it in. Here towards goal and over the crossbar. I think it's taking a deflection of a Coventry nightmare on the way through. Pick a going for it. It may have been Barnett who got the final touch. Now Cowley. And again. Back in towards the number 11. Clearance made known as far as Cowley again. Which was the right hand side. It's straight towards goal. It's straight to the stand. Sean Brain. Well, powerful hit. I tell you what, I really do not want to be any one of those people who the ball hit in the uh, stand behind the goal. Thrown over to Tom James, the ex Leamington man. Lofted ball towards Piggan. Didn't jump for it. Leaves for Jack James. Out comes the goalkeeper! Jack Chase, his fellow players, and of course the fans behind that goal. And Coventry United, from nothing, have got the equaliser. Reese Francis coming out to meet Chase. Chase spawning that far bottom corner, stuck his laces through it, and found the net. Bronze Grove Sporting 1, Coventry United 1, game on the Victoria ground. Which into the air, another clear by Carl Barnett. Willis stabs it into the box for Cowley to attack. Inside is Chris Cox, pushed to the ground, and once again the referee says no to a penalty which could easily have been given. Cowley still going. Cowley, a brilliant save by Morris. But once again the referee denying a penalty. This time, as far as Bromsgrove are concerned, it could have easily been a spot given. Cox seemingly just pushing Cowley to the ground. Punts it towards the left hand side. Brain is waiting. Great ball. That's how you do long passing. Mostly holding Brain. It's now with Cowley. Back into Brain. And what a save with the foot of Rich Morris. How did he keep that out? His long range of pass picked up by Tom James. A left up comes United. Poor pass though. It's sent it by Robbie Bunn. Launch it down the right hand side. Bronze Grove United that number here. Sean Brain taking on Chris Cox. What a chance to have a Bronze Grove. And once again, Morris. And cleared by Tom James. Bronze Grove getting closer and closer to that equaliser. And it is an amazing goalkeeping ability of Rich Morris. They will be behind. Bronze Grove still heading at United. Mosey sends it into the box towards Chris Cox. Nods it on. It's kept in. Prinzel wants it in the centre. Good save towards Craig Reed. Couldn't bring it down. Hooked away by Morris. It's still alive. Blasco, in a space on the right flank for Lewis Rankin, Mosley's with him. Rankin goes with the cross himself towards Craig Reed, heads it into the hands of Francis. Can they get the cross from the right hand side? Here's Willis, he's in the post! Agonising for Sporting! Hit from Willis, the ruthless captain. Came so close to booking Bronsgrove's ticket into the next round in the closing stages. Now it's Bronsgrove heading back to where they started. Musa taken out. Referee says play on to Bromsgrove. Did down line. Here's Aaron Roberts. Kai's in the centre. It's towards Cowley! Oh, he's put it wide. He's put it behind the goal. From that sort of range, you'd bet your house on Cowley scoring. Just couldn't wrap his leg around the ball. Was that the moment for Bromsgrove? Extra time beckons, unless one of these teams can dig deep. And, and the referee brings time on the match, it will be extra time. What a match it's been. Extra time in the FA Vars. The uh, final score of the Victoria Ground. Bromsgrove 1, Coventry United 1. We are into added time. And if it stays all square, from what I hear, it's going to be a replay of the Butch Park Arena this coming Wednesday. So uh, we'll see uh, if that replay will be needed. BPA, keep your book clear. We may need that date.
Or maybe not. Uh, uh, what a tackle that was by Crix Cox as Loveridge tried to get into the penalty area. It's still alive and clear just in front of the line by Chris Cox. What a start to extra time. United looking to get away with that one. It's Bromsgrove on the attack. Cowley stabs it over. Remember, it's Bromsgrove heading downhill now. United have got to keep them quiet for 15 minutes before their swap ends again. Whipped in. And a back heel into the hands of Rich Morris. Connor Deards trying a, a tried and tested routine which very nearly paid off a Bromsgrove in the early going of this match. Prinzel sidesteps one challenge, slides in and takes it away from a second, but it could be a card. It's a red card! Rob Prinzel sent off! Rob Prinzel sliding in! It did look like his, his leg was up. Well, the referee showed no hesitation in showing a red card to Coventry United substitute Rob Prinzel. Across to Cowley on the edge of the penalty area. Is this the moment for Cowley? Goes down! Penalty! Penalty from Stone! Coventry United furious! After all their hard work, Coventry United have just gifted Bromsgrove the chance they need to put this game to bed. Upsets the captain. It's Wills! He missed it! He missed it! Sam Wills missed it! Sam Wills has put it wide! And it remains at 1-1! One, one. Up line. Just the cross. Ripped in by Rice. Who's in there? Cowley's there! Cowley's had her over the crossbar! Cowley has had some great chances to put this game beyond all doubt. We know honestly Bronzgo could have had about three or four goals in the first half. But the chances they're getting are not being put away. Agreed. Lobs it forward. Piggin tries to get on the end of it. We'll be beaten to it by Morris, I believe. And the referee calls time on an exceptional 120 minutes of football in the FA bars. Unpredictable until the end. That's the way we like it. And we'll do it all over again in a few days' time at the Butts Park Arena. One of the most sensational matches I have seen in all my years of commentary. The final score at the Victoria Crown in the FA Bars. Rosgrove Sporting 1, Coventry United 1. Sign me up for the replay.